Hello, my name is Katherine Adamanchuk, and I am the recipient of the 2020 LC Engineering Award. Thank you to the Northern Lights Aero Foundation for this incredible honor. Growing up, I was lucky to have supportive parents and teachers who recognized my interest in math and science and encouraged me to consider pursuing a career in engineering. I enrolled in the Price Faculty of Engineering at the University of Manitoba and quickly realized that mechanical engineering was the right fit for me. The school had just started up an aerospace option, and in my third year of engineering, I decided that this was the path I wanted to pursue. When I graduated, I took a job with Standard Aero as a service engineer for the Rolls-Royce T-56 engine, the engine on the C-130 Hercules aircraft. Being in Winnipeg with 17-wing Air Force Base nearby, I loved being able to look up at the sky and see how my work had an impact. The role of service engineer took me around the world to support maintenance, repair, and overhaul activities. I then had the opportunity to take on the role of inspection engineer, where I learned the importance of quality assurance and started honing my project management skills. It was then that I realized that I was interested in the leadership side of engineering. So I started an MBA and took on various leadership roles at Standard Aero, including engineering manager and director of engineering services. I had many great mentors during my time at Standard Aero, and it was their passion for the pre profession and their desire to share that passion with others that eventually led me to my current role as the Aero Engine Test and Advanced Digital Manufacturing Engineer in Residence at the Price Faculty of Engineering at the University of Manitoba. In this role, I have the opportunity to work with engineering students to show them what exciting options exist right here in our province in the aerospace sector. I teach courses in project management and applied aerospace instrumentation, and am involved as a technical advisor for the aerospace projects in our final year capstone design course in mechanical engineering. I am also passionate about supporting women in engineering and aerospace. In 2015, I helped co-found the Women in Engineering and Geoscience Mentorship Program. This program, run through Engineers Geoscientists Manitoba, aims to create a community of women in engineering in Manitoba by teaming uh, female identifying engineering students with women from all stages of their engineering careers. This program has grown from 60 participants in our first year to over 175 participants this year, and it is one of the accomplishments I am most proud of. Despite all the hard work going on across the country to support women in engineering, only 11% of professional engineers in Canada are women. Last year, I completed a master's degree in biosystems engineering with research focused on understanding career persistence of women in the engineering workforce. This research has led to some actionable findings that I hope will help make engineering and aerospace an even more desirable career choice for women. I'd like to close by acknowledging the other 2020 LC award winners and those that came before. Your hard work and dedication to aviation and aerospace is an inspiration. Thank you for helping demonstrate that with a career in aviation and aerospace, the sky really is the limit.